Hello and welcome to Arsenal Online. Here you'll find the latest stories and news about Arsenal. Welcome back fellow Gunners across the world. Mikel Arteta's decisions at Everton highlight attacking issues. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's struggles in front of goal are no secret with the Arsenal captain's miss against Newcastle United illuminating the problem. Only five players have scored more Premier League goals for the, than the Arsenal captain, but his recent difficulties, five games without a goal before the trip to Everton, might explain Mikel Arteta's decision to leave him on the bench at Goodison Park. Arteta has been criticised, though, for favouring Eddie Nakataya over his captain, with 20 minutes remaining of the Everton match, leaving Aubameyang on the bench until Everton had equalised. Before the game, Arteta said, Well, you are always concerned when your main striker isn't scoring goals, but he is trying his hardest. He is aware of how much we need him as a team to score goals and at the moment they are not coming but the rest of the things we are asking him to do he is trying his best. Aubameyang missing a clear shot on the last kick of the game when he finally did get on the pitch will not have helped to lift the current mood in the Arsenal dressing room but questions about Arteta's decision making are starting to get louder. Lacazette has admitted his agents are starting to look to the right and to the left as his contract approaches its end, while there have also been indications from Nakataya that he sees his future away from the Emirates Stadium. Nakataya is not expected to renew his deal at Arsenal, with a number of clubs overseas monitoring the situation as a 22-year-old becomes available. And whilst 32-year-old Aubameyang might not be the long-term future of the club, one would imagine he's at least a longer-term option than two men who could well be playing their football elsewhere. Much of the positivity around Arsenal this season has focused on Arteta's willingness to build for the next few years, not just the next few weeks. Aaron Ramsdale has been a huge asset since replacing the more experienced Bernd Leno in goal, while 23-year-old Takahiro Tomiyasu and 24-year-old Ben White have played a big part in helping the Gunners recover from a very slow start. So this makes the apparent contradictions of Arteta's attacking decisions all the more confusing. When it became clear that Mesut Ozil was leaving Arsenal, the boss made no attempt to reintegrate the German at the start of the 2021 season and instead found ways to kick on with a group of players which didn't include him. So fans and pundits alike are confused as to why players who have made it clear they want to move on are still playing such a big role in the team. It may be the case that Arteta is using the games as a last gasp attempt to get Nikitaya back on side, convincing him he is valued and can benefit from renewing his deal in the knowledge that chances will come. And the same might well be true of Lacazette. But it's a strategy that seems to be misfiring as the heart has gone from his attacking players. To add to Arsenal's woes, Mikel Arteta has revealed why Emile Smith-Rowe was absent for Monday night's 2-1 defeat against Everton. Arsenal missed Smith-Rowe for the trip to Goodison Park due to a groin problem. He explained after the game. He was with pain and could not train or travel. We will see how he is. Arteta's disappointment to come away empty-handed from Goodison Park was clear but the Spaniard admitted that his side were poor in front of goal and lacking an overall killer edge. 
Disappointed to lose at the end the way we have done, he said, of the match. But to be honest, in the first half, we were very inconsistent with the ball. We didn't have enough penetration or threat. One of the few times we have done, it was when we scored the goal. They struggled to create anything apart from the set piece that was disallowed, but we had to be much better in the second half. When they started to get it and were more aggressive with the press, we had bigger spaces to attack them and had chances to exert more control. We had big chances to score with Eddie hitting the post and Martin twice and Ober one-on-one, -on -one, but we didn't score. When that happens and you manage the game like we did, with the throw-in for the goal, you don't get points in this league. We had big chances to score with Eddie hitting the post and Martin twice and Arbor one-on-one, -on -one, but we didn't score. When that happens and you manage the game like we did with the throw-in for the goal, you don't get points in this league. And that's repeated. I'm going to do that one again. Wait a minute. I'm just deleting something. I didn't realise I'd repeated that twice. Hold on. Okay. We had big chances to score with Eddie hitting the post and Martin twice and Arbor one on one, but we didn't score. When that happens and you manage the game like we did with the throw in for the goal, you don't get points in this league. They were there for the taking and when that happens you have to grab it and kill it. We didn't do that today. They are young, but we have to learn quickly. Against Manchester United we had a similar thing and deserved much more but didn't get the points. Away from home you cannot give anything to the opponent, they are strong enough. We had opportunities to score goals and when we didn't it was not good enough. The performance in general was not good enough. So, more big decisions to make and even more big questions to be asked of the manager. Can the season be salvaged? Well, they've done it once already. So let's see what Christmas brings. What do you think? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thanks for watching Arsenal Online. Please subscribe for all the latest news.